Three, two, one. You're on, Mrs. Lee. Well, hello, everybody. This is Missy, and you wouldn't even... Uh, I don't know that you're expecting me. Mrs. V. V. This is and Mrs. This v. v. This is Mrs. Mrs. V. v. Hi. Um, we're just going to wait a minute or so before we get on with, uh, say, my presentation. And... Um, uh, just until everybody um, gets on board. So um, today's broadcast is about, uh, we're starting off with, um, I'm going to show you a few of my paintings and they relate to the food forest, especially this first one. And um, anyway, uh, uh, there will be also juicing, and I think Howie's going to uh, show you how to dry herbs, and he's got a few things up his sleeve for today's today's uh, cast. But anyway, um, is it? Uh, do you think we could get started? Um, yes, you're live with seven okay. watching, Mrs. V. Oh well, hello. Now first. First and foremost, I want to thank you for uh, um, getting on board. And um, I'm a little bit of a newbie when it comes to this computer world. Okay. But anyway, um, I'll just get on with it. Um, yes. Well, you know Food Forest Permaculture has quite the garden. No, no, you're on the right channel, Picker Rick. You stay right there, Picker <laughs> Rick. You are You're on the there. right channel. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's just because people noticed my paintings in the background and made comments when they tuned in to Food Forest Permaculture. And I had, yes, I'm, I'm Howie's friend, and I uh, am an artist. And um, Howie, before, he used to pick me these beautiful, beautiful garden salads. And we have a friend that's quite the photographer, and he took this beautiful picture of all of the produce from our garden. Well, I was so impressed with the colors. And isn't nature a beautiful girl? So anyway. Grew I, this salad. I He grew this salad. This grew was this my salad. lunch. She, she, she ate the salad, Mrs. B, and then she did the painting. And I loved it so much. And boy, was I the envy of the staff room, I tell you, because they saw the beautiful sound. Okay, so here we are. You know, you'll, I say calendula, but some people say calendula. Calendula, yeah, some and, people do. Yeah, so, and uh, here are some uh, uh, calendula leaves, and of course, lettuce, and, um, and. Cinnamon wasabi. Cinnamon wasabi. Kale. Yeah. Yeah. But my prize rose. Yes. <laughs> Which one are those? Okay, this is the McCartney rose. Right, the McCartney rose. The tea, is, tea, 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 tea rose, you call that? Yeah. It's a hybrid tea. That's it. Yeah. Oh, I love roses. And we've been uh, uh, growing lots of roses in the garden. So when my McCartney starts to bloom again, because we moved it, uh, we I'd like you to show I will do that for you, Mrs. V. We now have, we now have the Kate. We have a Royal Kate Rose. Okay, so so much for that painting. What's your next painting, My Mrs. Next v? Painting. Okay. Wow. A moment. Wow. Cool. Cool. Very cool. What? Hi, Sandra. Hi, Nathan. Matt. JD. Yes. Hello. Bandana okay. Grandma. Hello. Here's the next painting. This one's a bit dusty, I noticed. This one, unfortunately, had to survive a fire. I hope you can see it okay. Um, but it was restored somewhat. Um, my heritage is Ukrainian. And so uh, this is a Shumka dancer who is a Ukrainian dancer in Edmonton. And she's doing a twirl. Shumka means whirlwind. And a, a twirl in a canola field. But unfortunately... In the fire, um, the canola, all, I lost a lot of the brilliance of this painting. But I think of this as my signature painting because this is me. I'm like a whirlwind. <laughs> okay, next painting. 
One more painting left. One more. And then and then we're moving on. Should we do should we do the food bar painting? Yeah, this or food. The yes, yes, that's fine, Mrs. V. It's your okay. painting. No, this isn't the boudoir one. But this is a style I was exploring. And fortunately, I did sell a painting like your in this style. Gone. So what's that? You're no longer there. Oh, here we are. Oh, it's a lag. There's a lag. There you are. Oh, I thought, oh, this is strange. Oh, okay, no. you want to talk about your painting, Mrs. Well, Bay? this was a style that I was doing, and I did it. Uh, this, I went to this style for a commission, and I did a commission, and then I love this style. So I'll get back to it. But my painting is known as the technique I use is impasto, and my paintings are in oils. I love the smell of the linseed oil <laughs> to get the creative uh, juices flowing. So this one, I have to show my boudoir. Right? Of course, of course. One more. <laughs> it looks like there's going to be one more. One more. Thanks, JD. This lady's a great painter. She she's painted with some of the the, the, the best paint, painters in the world. They, she goes to all kinds of uh, shows and, and programs. And it's wonderful to see her. <laughs> There we this go. This is my boudoir painting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Can you see that? Okay, maybe not. It's not too, too bright. But um, yeah. Just uh, I had this little sculpture of this woman. Like I, I, I kind of thought of it as as myself in my earlier days with the red hair. Once upon a time. <laughs> anyway, that is the conclusion of my uh my paintings and thank you for noticing uh the paintings in the background so i shall i want uh, blessings to you all i send my heart to you and my love to you and may you be blessed amen i mean <laughs> sorry well thank anyway. you mrs v that was all very right. kind of you good very kind of you if you, okay. if you would like to put your um your your painting of of the salad there for the rest of the oh, show. Sure. I would okay. love that. That'd that would be, be adorable. Thank you kindly. And thank you very much, Mrs. V. You're and, uh, I'm, nice. and and I appreciate you being here and and okay. awesome. 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 Take care. You're welcome. Thank you, Mrs. All right. See you. See you later. See you later. Well, yeah. Well, you, you, you might recognize this guy. <laughs> Thanks for being here with Mrs. V. She really likes her paintings. She um she really likes it. And uh, oh, I bottled up some mead. Check that out. Yeah, some meat. Yeah, bottled up a few of them. They're uh, 37 meat. It's 100% pure honey. Uh, we're going to drink some. We're going to try it. I already tried it, but, you know, something to do. <laughs> so, so it's, uh, that's, that's great. And uh, we, have a, we have a book. By a friend of mine, and it's called Saving Farmland. This is my friend Natalie Chambers wrote this. Her name's on there. I'm pretty sure you all can have a good look. Title and buy her book. It's called Saving Farm by Natalie Chambers. This lady has fire belts. How you that? She she runs a husband and kids just down the road from me. And uh, her, it's called Saving Farmland by Natalie Chambers. It's a worthwhile book. Uh, this one was given to me, and she signed it. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Here I'll show you the picture of a healthy human being. Here's Dave and Natalie Chambers and little Lola. I mean, they're just beautiful. Lola, of course, she's she's playing in mud there, but now she grows flowers and sells them, plays in an orchestra, 
very intelligent, very intelligent kid. And only she's a vegan. She only eats what she grows at the farm, nothing else. She's uh, very wise. And look how healthy she, they, these people are. And uh, they save farmland. That's, that's why they wake up every day. There's nothing else to do but save farm and other farms and land and land conservancy. And that's all they do. And it's called the fight for real food. The fight for real food. Natalie Chambers, my very good best friend. I just wanted to show her book. <laughs> Hi, just me. How you doing? I'll read some of the chat. Yep, we'll get some of this moved. And we'll move you closer. Not everybody's here yet. There was going to do a juicing. It's good to see you as well, Jasmine, Picker Rick, and JD. Thank you kindly for coming in here. And um, Sandra, I do appreciate that very, very much. It's uh, So we'll go ahead and do a juicing. If, if you have a, the painting is gorgeous. Yes, I grew this, this salad in the, and, and uh, Mrs. V painted it. My friend took a picture of the salad and uh, it's one that I deliver to people in the neighborhood. And so my friend gave me the blown up copy and then this developed from it. <laughs> yep. Juicing is cool. Yes, I love juicing. Oh, I bought a coconut. I bought a coconut. And uh, this is great stuff. This can be replaced as plasma. You ever need blood? You can intervene as this. Not that I'm telling you to do that because I'm not. I'm just reciting a story that I learned. <laughs> but if you ever had needed plasma, this stuff here is, is the best there is inside this. Yeah, so coconuts are, you know, are, are, are very powerful food. Yeah. Ja Jasmine, you bought one. Great. Thai co so did I, a Thai coconut. But it's, uh, it's, it's very good for you. It's very healthy. Well, let's get on with the juicing. That's what we're here for. Plus, I got I have a bunch of herbs to dry, so uh, we're gonna hang them up. And if you want to stick around for it, I'm I'm going to be on an hour. I'm gonna try to limit it to an hour. It's uh, yeah, coconuts are superfood. You can live on them. Yes, 420 Society. Wow, I I this guy lives not far from me. He's a great guy. He's very smart. He's uh he's level up digital. Hello, Drew. This guy is my friend. He's uh, he's a he's family. He's more than a friend. He's family. He's a very smart guy and loves to fish. Loves to fish. Nice piece of art there, Howard. Yes, that's uh, that's Mrs. V. She painted that. I think you've seen that before, perhaps. Yeah. And is Candy listening? Drew is is Candy listening there too? I'm doing good, Drew. I'm doing very good. Hi, Tara. Crazy, crazy life. Yes, this is a crazy life. <laughs> Jasmine, you're funny. You're very funny. But on a more serious note, let's do the juicing. This is all there is for juicing. It's not a lot. It's just a small bowl. Um, we're just going to make one liter and that's, that's good for a couple, three days, you know? So we'll start with, um, a, 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 well, I washed these. So there we go. And there is a lime. You put in a piece of lime. Yeah. 
and uh, a beat. You have to have a beat. And uh, okay, Lay Shahan. Hello, hello. How are you? Oh, Candy's dealing with her daughter. Oh, wonderful. Fine family they are. Know them well. Like to see them more often, though. <laughs> Dr. Wiggler, hello. How are you? How, how's the Hugo culture going? No, you can't beat a beat. No, Rick, you're absolutely right. You're, you're all over it. Here's the beat. And uh, here's an apple. This is a very simple recipe. It never changes. It's always the same. It, it never changes. Dre, are you coming fishing this summer, Dre? Because the, the fish out here are shaking knowing you exist, hey? My friend Dre there, he's uh, just doing some work and listening to you. Let's do some smoked salmon. <laughs> well... <laughs> you're you're uh, you're uh, you're all right. <laughs> you can't juice that. <laughs> this is ginger, and I think we can put a little cucumber in. Here's a little cucumber, and we have a little thing of greens here. I was kind of hoping drunken one was here. And this is uh, this is collard greens and kale, and this was out of the food forest. Then ninety percent of this is local. What I eat, I'm I'm juicing, so we'll go ahead and uh, <clears throat> plug this in. Oh boy, there we go. We're back. Put the button. There we go. And we're going to be juicing. I have to read the chat. Ali Oakley, hello. JD. What do you mean, maybe, Dre? You have to come fishing. There, I mean, you work all year. I have this big this big fishing spot i mean i load up i mean i let a lot go but i mean it's great it's it's a pretty nice spot so the first thing you put through is uh, a lime or a lemon piece of ginger more lime and more lime this recipe works good some celery works good for me gives me my boost and uh, it's been researched so it's a, a piece of beet read the chat yes 420 society Peter Mack, yes, you should come to Vancouver Island. You're only about 70 kilometers from here, so. Well, here's some uh, kale from, from the food forest. Some collard greens. Some chard.
this doesn't take no more than two or three pounds of fruit and vegetables. It's not a lot. You want to make a lot, go for it. But I mean, you, you don't, you're just wasting it because you only want to make a little bit for you and someone else. You don't want to make a lot. And it'll store for about three days in the refrigerator. But you have to have cucumber, beet, celery, ginger, apple. That's about it. And some greens, whatever you have for greens. And that's a great combination. That's, that's what I've learned from some very experienced people. Level up. I am working right now. Laugh out loud. I am working in my sleep. I would love to come and see you. We will make a decision once we hit the Okanagan. We are leaving on the 4th of July. Kind of playing it by ear. Well, your room's already downstairs for you there for come fishing. And uh, I'll guarantee you get 50 pounders. That's all. Like halibut, lingcod, salmon, that kind of thing, right? Springs. But you're welcome to stay here and uh, Candy and, and Angela. <sighs> Hi, Suburban Hillbilly. Welcome to this channel. It's good to see you here. Will it freeze well? Uh, you could freeze it in ice cubes and put them in as ice cubes in regular water. That's what I do. And yeah, it does freeze well. And it's apple, ginger, beet, cucumber, greens, celery. The celery is for some sodium. You, you, you need sodium. And we're almost done. Menic Loco, welcome. Good to see you here. Irene, hello, welcome. Good to see you here. So these are um, <clears throat> collard greens, some celery, and we're just about done here. One more apple for some taste. I like the taste of apple. Yuck, apple is good for you. Clean your brain, your capillaries. Full of malic acid, breaks down plaque. You, you gotta have it. Well, That's it. That's uh that's the whole deal right there. Oops, water on the computer. That doesn't look good. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, I was told that was bad. <laughs> okay. Nope. Oops, I put that in the wrong spot. There we go. Now this, look at the colors on that. Whoa. Look at the colors on that. 
That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we must try some. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. That's what the stuff looks like. And it's always the same. Never changes. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, I forgot to put in the Serrano. Uh-oh, next time. <laughs> I bought one Serrano. I had to have it. It was from Mexico. Woo! Oh. Ooh, that'll keep you awake. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. That's the substance. Woo. Hello, Pinky Daniels. Welcome to this channel. Dare to prepare. Welcome, welcome to this channel. And mullein seeds can grow anywhere in waste dry areas. And it's great toilet paper and you, it's great smoking for a decongestant. And it has a lot of uh, healing properties, but it's the best toilet paper you'll ever find. Yeah. Yeah, spicy is good, Jasmine. It, it, it creates blood flow. You know, it really is so healthy for you. It, it kills parasites and mold, yeast, and fungus. You, you have it like that. That spicy, have spicy every day if you can have it. <clears throat> Hello, Terry Trotto. Welcome here. Welcome to the channel. Yes, JD. That's a boost to the system. Your liver creates bile right away from drinking this. The beets, the beets do all the cleansing and cleaning and stripping of all the dead off the inside of your intestinal tract. And then the cucumber comes along and, and it's gelatinous and it's soothing, soothing. Cucumber is really good for people with digestive problems. And th this has lots of enzymes, JD, for complex molecule building. You're only born with so many. And then when you run out, you become old, rancid, and smelly. <laughs> but so if you can have enzymes in your food, you have a better absorption. And you might live like 5, 10, 20 years longer and, and a little easier, like, glide to your glory. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a learning paradise. So you learn, learn about your looking after your, yourself. And juicing is number one for, for putting the nutrients directly into you. And you become more aware. You, you, you become a, a healthier and a mentally, physically. You know, JD, it's a great thing to do. Irene, yes, hello. I said hello, but uh, it's good to see you here. And the chat's, chat's flying by. Spicy or hot, Suburban Hillbilly says. You're, you're right. There's, there's spicy and then there's hot. Uh, ar aromatic aroma is a Greek word that means spicy food. So ar ar aroma is a Greek word that, that that's what that means. And then we all know what hot is. That's like burning. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Bye, Pinky Daniels. It was great having you here. All the best to you and, and come back again. Oh, it's a great goodbye to Pinky Daniels. She, I think she's in England. Yeah. 
Aroma tomatoes, laugh out. That's you have something there. Tomatoes, uh, they're they're uh, they're nightshade family. Some people can't have tomatoes or potatoes or 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 rhubarb. They're nightshade. Some people can't do nightshade. You know, that's sad. Imagine not having not being able to have a tomato. Oh. Hello, Kentucky girl, 3232. Welcome. Welcome. Yep. So I have a couple more books. What do you want to do? You want to do the coconut? Or do you want to see these two other books that I have? Hi, Kitty's Homestead. You're not late. You're here. Better late than never. Cheers to you. Yes, I make aloe juice. I put it in my, my water. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Aloe is very healthy for you. It, 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 it detoxifies you, and it, and it kills bad bacteria. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, great for burns. Oh, if you, got a, if you have a sunburn, just cover yourself. Take fresh aloe and just cover yourself. That's what I do. It's great for sunscreen. Lovely. <laughs> I want to know about blood black. Do you know what? It's scheduled. I talked to the to my friend, and um, and um, and he's is scheduled to be here because he knows how to hook up the microscope and and the the computer. Jasmine, I do not, so I have to have a techie guy to come and do that. But it is in the works, and it and it does look like it's next Sunday. It was almost this Sunday, but he had family come from uh, the mainland on Vancouver because I'm on Vancouver Island. But it is going to happen. How do you make aloe? Just, just, just crush fresh aloe and put it in water. That's it. Going to listen. I've got six or seven pounds of apples to slice for the dehydrator. Good for you. I love apple tea. Chop a bunch of apple up, dried, and throw it in hot, hot water. Oh, it's lovely. Hello, Jenny O'Brien. Welcome here. Benico, Benny Loco. I can do aloe, cannot do latex. Yeah, it can be hard on people. Hi, Jinx. Welcome here. Well, you enjoy your water in your garden, uh, Jinx. Yeah, aloe juice, kitties, homestead. Yeah, you're right. That's that's uh, and it's good for you too. Well, seeing nobody said anything about the books, I'm going to show you the books that I have. And uh, the first one is uh, this is on Bill Mollison's book, and it, and it's permaculture, a designer's manual. This is the coolest book ever. And there's Bill Mollison right there. And uh, he's um, he was a he was a, he was he was a great thinker, this guy. But he's the originator of uh, permaculture and uh, permaculture designers manual. You got to get that puppy. This is a book. That's a book there, and it's it's a big book, and it's long, and uh, it's uh, this is a great book. So if one of his co-originators wrote the next book, and that's right here. <clears throat> And it's called A Retro Suburbia by David Holmgren. He's on YouTube, Holmgren Designs. And it's a downshifter's guide to a more resilient future. And it's a big book. And he's on YouTube, Holmgren Design. You can go on there and buy this. 
this book shows you how to live very well. They very well. It's a, uh, it's a. Uh, It's well designed. There was a piece here that I had of him and his mom. There he is there. And he's the co-originator of, uh, of permaculture with Bill Mollison. And I, I, I watched a lot of this guy's videos. And um, uh, Retro Suburbia, David Holmgren removes the fences of sub verbs and the mind and retrofits them with practical positive solutions that build resilient individuals in capable communities. <laughs> These are exciting times and this is the manual to engage and inspire generations to come. Costa Geo, uh, I can't pronounce his last name, host of Gardening Australia Community Activator. Retro Suburbia, it's called. This book is awesome. David Holmgren, he's Holmgren Designs on YouTube. It's very well worthwhile to get this book. Shows you everything to do from solar panels to making your cob oven to everything's in here. Everything. Well, I don't know if there's a cob oven in there, but he talks about cob. But uh, that's that one. Yep. And this book here. Saving Farmland by Natalie Chambers. This is my very good friend. I, I, I go over there often. They're, they're great people. Awesome people. And uh, the fight for real food. She's an activist for saving farmland. And she has fire in her belly, this lady. She's pretty cool. If you all want to go and look for that book, that's a good one. Shows you how to fundraise. Save farmland. This book is comprehensive, very comprehensive. Yeah. Oh, we better read some chat. Hi, Tim's World. Hello. Really, just me. Really, just. I, I just got a book called Hacking the American Mind. That sounds pretty serious. That sounds really serious. Listening by going to check on dinner. Okay, Kitty's Homestead. And uh, I don't know how long I've been on here, but I only wanted to go for an hour. But, um, and, uh, Thirty-eight minutes. So we have twenty-two minutes, and then wrap it up. So if anybody has any questions, you know, if you have a question, you can ask it. I'm I'm really going to try to concentrate. <laughs> saving farms, yes, yeah, saving farms. This is my best friend. She just lives down the road. She's great. Her whole family is really cool. Really, really cool. Watch this. Here's the family right here. And there's little Lola playing in the mud. There's they are. They're great people. They grow organic food and they sell it. They grow, they, they have their, they're, they're the only stand around here that's open really. 365 days a year, kind of like they open three or four days a week, you know, but that there they are. They're healthy. They, and it's uh, saving farmland, the fight for real food. Now that's a book. It's, it's full of good, good things. Just great things. Yeah. Mm. Are beets good for the heart? This is a, this is a, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to get into trouble, but this is a champion juicer uh, and it's a, and it's a twin gear and, uh, and it's, it's one of the best you can get. It's, um, 
it's it's uh, it's a it's a great juicer. That's you know, in my opinion. I mean, I'm not paid, I'm not monetized or anything, so I don't want to get in any trouble because it's so easy to get in trouble. But this is this is the juicer to have. I, I received this one for Christmas from my best friend. They bought a new one, and so this is a retro one that he bought parts for, and it's, it works really good. 17 years old, so it's a good juicer. J.D. Allison, our beats good for the heart. You better believe it. The building blocks of protein, the heart's the biggest muscle in the body, J.D. So, oh, yeah, beets are number one. You better believe it. Beets are extremely good for you. Raw, juiced. You cook them, you know, things change. I like them raw. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to cheers to you all. Cheers. There's, there we go. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's the substance abuse I'm looking for right there. <laughs> I love that. Woo. It never, oh, it never, never lets you down. You get quite a zing. You can see better and you have more energy. And, uh, you know, the, the ginger is that's in there is for, um, anti-inflammatory because uh, i have osteoarthritis severe so any any help is good help for me you know, you know it's very painful <laughs> ali oakley woo yes yes dr okay, figures they don't make them like that no more hold on to that juicer you they do make these still you could buy them brand new they're almost a g note though and um here i'll lift it up for you Ah, it's it's a bad baby. You can buy these on Amazon, anywhere else. You know they're they're on there. They're for sale. They're you you got you got the cash. They're not cheap. They're the most expensive juicer you can buy. I have an Omega too, which is a smaller version of this. And then I have a couple other ones too. And I even gave some away. But this one, I I covet this one somewhat. And it has a nice carrying handle and. It's it's uh and, and my friend upgraded all the new gears into it for me, and uh, I didn't do the work they did. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, okay. Cheers, Irene. Any juicing's good juicing or smoothies. Get a blender, kitty. Kitty's Homestead, it, it, uh, it's probably better for you, a smoothie. You get a lot more fiber. This is soluble fiber for people that don't have a, you know, they have stomach problems and stuff, you know, that you can't have fiber too much. You need fiber, though. Fiber is essential. <laughs> yeah. What's it called? I want one. It's called a, It's called the Champion Juicer, this one. I don't know what Kitty's is. But if you bought one at, for five bucks and it works and it gets you healthy, and you know that's the, that, then you're happy. Healthy's happy. <laughs> I'm happy to be healthy. <laughs> Somewhat. I have my battles too. You know, I'm over a half century old now, and, and you know things don't work and some things fall apart. <laughs> I lost a colon a few years ago. That was, uh, you know, oh. 21 days. I, I couldn't move. I had to learn how to walk again. That was, and, I, and uh, I'll tell, I, I'm not even going to go there. We're going to move along. <laughs> yeah. Champion. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. This. Yeah. Okay. You got it. It's a champion juicer twin gear and um it's it's uh it's produced it's produced by green power green power this if you want to punch it into google and uh 
and um, yeah, so it's a twin gear green power uh, champion juicer. So uh, that's that's it. You can you can look it up, green power in the, in. The, on Google, you can still buy parts for this, and it's 17 years old. And you can buy new ones of this, but they are seventy seven hundred dollars and a thousand dollars, depending how big you want them. There's even bigger ones. This one just works good for me. So, and uh, it was free. It was Christmas. Yay! Gotta love Christmas. <laughs> Excuse me. Welcome, Big Steve. Thank you, Irene. Uh, it's been a long, you know, <laughs> it's been a long journey and a learning one. So, yeah. Raw foods, yes. Twin gear. That's the, that, because the, 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 the vegetables and fruit go in between and there's like the shaft with teeth on it that go like this and they all come together and you you have to line it up i was gonna i was gonna uh, put it together but it takes too long so i just put it together next time i'll, I'll when i do the juicing I'll, I'll i'll have it all apart and then you can see how to put it together that is a little bit of knowledge to learn Okay, Benny Loco, we'll be right back. I don't see JD in here. Oh, there's Ali Oakley still. Yep. So, this is my need. Yep. Yep. Just made that. You have a champion juicer, just me, and it's thirty years. It must be it has to be thirty years, and it still works great. I know they're they're great juicers. I love them. I love them. Well, yeah, I, I there's I put coconut oil on the shaft there, and then that that's there's a little spot there where the gears come together and go onto the motor. I put a little bit of coconut oil there. That's what I've learned to do, but. And uh, I never use alcohol. I scrub it clean, let it dry, and then I always run a lemon and a lime through it. I didn't have a lemon today, but I had lots of limes. So so I, I put that through, and that the lemonine and the limonene, I mean, really sanitizes everything. You put that through anything that's going in there, like, it's like cooking like ceviche. So, you know, but you, you do clean it up. You have to clean them up. But I don't know if I'd use rubbing alcohol or what, whatever it was you use. That, that that's your choice. But I don't know about that. What's mead? That's a that, well. You know how you have beer, you have wine, you have hard liquor, then you have mead, and mead is made from one hundred percent honey, nothing else. So it's it has lots of nutrients and it's quite sweet and it tastes a little bit like sake a little bit like tequila and it's 50, almost 50 percent alcohol so you only drink like a little tiny bit unless you know you want to drink more <laughs> but, but mead is nice it's a very old way of making alcohol very old and very tasty it tastes great Mead is used in beer. Well, you can put mead in beer. It makes it sweeter, but I don't. I don't drink beer. I, I only drink a little bit of mead or a little bit of wine twice a year. If I'm going for, you know, going to visiting or something, I'll have a little glass of wine, but I keep it very under control. No, Irene, that was a salad. That was a salad that I, that I, I, um, no, uh, uh, Mrs. V painted that. She was here earlier. You missed you missed the, the the first of the broadcast, and she did the painting. and And there was a picture of a salad that I grew, Irene, 
and then they took the painting and here's the here's the here's the salad this is a salad that i grew and i give them to like out in the neighborhood here and stuff and uh so that's where the painting come from uh irene so yeah the, i grew this this is uh mccartney rose here cinnamon wasabi kale lettuce um calendula petals but yeah so then if you move this over and there's the painting there so yeah it was kind of fun my friend my friend took this photograph and just gave it to me and then my other friend she painted the and i grew the salad so that's where it came from Yeah, mead's not beer. Mead's different. It, it is alcohol, but it's a uh, it's a high range alcohol that and it's and it has a lot of nutrients in it and a lot of minerals too. And it's very good for you. It's very healthy for you. Yeah. Level up digital candy. Hello, candy. Please come fishing with Trey. Please, please. <laughs> Good to see you, sweetheart. Love you lots. Love you lots. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Doc Wiggler. Yeah. It was great growing the salad, but that's not my artwork. That's Mrs. V. Well, thanks, Jasmine. <laughs> Irene's a cool painting, hey? <laughs> Things just show up. You never expect, you never know what tomorrow brings you. Yeah. So, Candy, please come fishing with Dre. Please, 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 please. <laughs> and bring your boat, too. <laughs> Because I know the best spots. I know where to get big fish. Uh, of course, I went fishing a while back, but I never caught any. But it wasn't, it wasn't the right time to go there. The tides were moving pretty fast. And now there's salmon closures. But I know a spot. So please come out. And your room's available. It's all set up. Brand new sheets on the beds. It's all set up for you. to. to and you're fine. Yeah, you are, yeah. Please come out. Lulu, love you. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. How's your ferrets doing? Yes, the salad was art. Now it's turned it, even photography uh, and then art, Jasmine. It's, it, it was quite the progression. But the salad, it was just another salad delivered to uh, um, my friend. He's a... Uh, He's a um, he's a he's a prepper survivalist guy and a very interesting fellow, <laughs> but he likes to take his photos. Good, your ferrets are great. They're cute, Lulu. I love you. That's they're they're awesome to see. They're like they're smiling. They're wonderful. And JD, you are still here. Good. I hope I haven't seen Picker Rick for a while. He's uh, he he may have left. I hope I've I hope I didn't miss him. Well, let's get on to the coconut. Let's see what we can do with this coconut. There's the coconut. Yep.
Wow. Okay, this this is a little more than there we go. It's not my usual break out the hatchet. <laughs> Yep. Bye, Dr. Wiggler. Thank you for coming in. That was great to see you. Put the lime in the coconut. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and shake it all. Yes, Sally Oakley. <laughs> Well, here's the coconut. There you go. Well, that's pure plasma right there. You can put that in your arm as plasma as blood for blood replacement. If you're running out of blood, this, this is purest that there is. It doesn't get any more pure than this. And, uh, Cheers to my friends and family that are watching. Candy Girl, love you lots. Angela, love you lots. Dre, love you, bro. Love everybody. Peace and love. They're all, yeah. Ah, oh, wow. Awesome. Very good. Yep. Well, it's very full of electrolytes. It's a giant uh, uh, seed. <laughs> Andrew's, um, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a giant seed. You're, you're just, it's, it's so healthy for you. But this is an amazing thing. And, and if you scoop out the coconut that's inside, this baby coconut, and they just add some uh, cacao powder uh jasmine and you make a, and you whip it and, and make a custard oh you're in heaven yeah well not heaven but close to it <laughs> drink it up and get the rush laughed out loud jd yes well it's uh it's it can replace plasma jd it's uh if you ever need blood and there isn't the blood service around, this puppy will do. <laughs> American flyers in the in the in the Pacific when they were in World War II, when they were hurt or or in the military, the doctor had no more plasma. This is what they used. So this has saved many American servicemen, this coconut. Yeah. Uh, to, to me it's a it's a godsend. Uh, that's how it, way I look at it. Good for you guys. Coconut is where it's at. It's a superfood. But the, the coconut flesh inside, and you mix that with some cacao and a little bit of agave or honey or maple syrup. I'll tell you, the best pudding you ever had. It's it really, oh, I just, I adore it. It's so alkalizing too. It's, it's fairly alkalizing. 
Well, I learn like anybody else, Jasmine. Oh, I love it. I love learning about, about plants and nature. I'm not a, I'm not a, yeah, I don't I mean, It's got, it has to do with my environment. I want to know about it. That's, that's where my, that's my catalyst. I need to know, but uh, I'm glad that if, if I can tell you something that you don't know and help you, that's great. That's, that's the whole world to me. It really is. I mean, I mean so much. Yes, coconuts are the best. And these, husk, if you could chop them up with a hatchet and then throw them into your pathway soil bank or your compost if you have one, this stuff is amazing at holding oxygen molecules. It's a great oxygenator for the soil. There's so many benefits from this, not just cleaning your body and producing and, and, and all the other wonderful effects, but, but the coconut husk itself is wonderful. Well, the wind is blowing here. Yeah, where did Tara go? Well, maple syrup is to give you a lower glycemic uh, index there, Jasmine. And then agave a second, and then honey is way up there, I think. But but maple syrup apparently is the best for low glycemic. So that you might want to, uh, you know, look at if you have it, right? And that's so important to look after your, your sugar levels. You use a machete. A machete, yeah. Well, oh, that's some pretty serious machete work. That's good for you. <laughs> I have a couple of those as well. <laughs> but I like my hatchet, and uh, I like I like different knives for you know utility, especially this here. Hi, Tara. Cra Tara's crazy life. Welcome back. <laughs> we were wondering where you are. Where were where you were? Yeah, yeah. Does anybody have any questions? Like Dre, you're, I know you're you you're coming on July fourth, right, for fishing. I'll make sure to put that on the calendar, Dre. I'll phone you. Hey, are you leaving yet? Are you leaving yet? <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> you use a hole saw. You mean a drill, JD. Drilling in there with a the drill works really well. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good with knives either, but I like a hatchet for chopping up or a big knife. I have osteoarthritis so in this knuckle here and right here. So, you know, I understand about the knife use. Yeah, I love chopping vegetables up and eating them. So, yeah. Yes, a hatchet works good. Yes, I, I sometimes I can't open oysters. I just tap them and they break apart. <laughs> I, I like going and getting oysters and and seafood and, and um, you know seaweed and nori like things. I have a few little spots. Really, you I you have a blowtorch that Lay Shahan gave you. Is she still in here? I didn't say goodbye to her, I don't think. She's very, she just leaves when she leaves, I've noticed. But if she's not here, that's okay. But, but uh, yeah. Blowtorch. Right, can of paste, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, 
yes the oysters on the grill they open anyway when they open up i like to put a bunch of dill in there and um you know some cheese of some kind <laughs> or heavy half and half cream drop that in with lots of dill or butter or then just eating them raw i eat them raw right off the beach if it's a clean beach but around here that's uh there's still the, the sewage still goes out in the ocean here until august and then it's changed so it's gonna take two or three years to clean up it's a shame but you know uh, i'm not in control <laughs> like you know these people that are they just it took them forever and ever. Now there's hardly any salmon, hardly any whales anymore. You know, I wonder why. <laughs> okay. The cooking book. Yeah, some chefs have blow torches for cooking. Absolutely, I've seen that. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> are you still here, Dre and Candy? Are you still here? If you are, let me know. I don't know if you still are, but uh, let's see what the time is here. Uh, and we're at one hour. Wow, it's been an hour already. And I hope I've talked about anything. And anybody have any questions before we go, before I go? I might be able to answer something, you know, if you have a question. Creme brulee, yes, creme brulee. That's why you have a torch, absolutely. Oh, that's with the mead, too. You put a little mead on there and you catch it on fire. Yeah, oh, yeah, creme brulee. You're right, uh, Ali Oakley, for sure. Yeah, well, the humpbacks migrating to Hawaii, Jasmine. You're absolutely right. The, the world's in a messy place. That's why we. That's why I I, I, I try to show people to make soil and and grow a canopy because the world's heating up. You 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 really need a lot more trees. And and if you can if you can regreen the desert, that's like another lung on the planet. And uh, we need it badly. You know, they're cutting down forest. They where they are. <laughs> But, you know, it, re greening the desert and retrofitting the, the cities to look after themselves with food and, and uh, living more sustainable. We only have one planet. We're in, the, we're, we're, in a, we're, in a, we're in a time of the sixth largest extinction known on the planet. We're in it right now. Like 250 species a day are dying. So this is what my motivation and catalyst is, is to show as many people as possible that... Um, you, 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 if you grow, grow more trees and live sustainably, recycle, repurpose, reuse, really goes a long way. And yep. Yeah. Yes, JD, time flies, and it has been a lot of fun. And, uh, the greeters have just greeted someone at the door. I'll be right back. So I'm going to shut it down, and if you want to say hello, you can. It's up to you. But I have a friend here, and uh, I, um, I I have to go, and it's been a pleasure, and I will be back again next Sunday, and I welcome everybody and anybody to come on here. And um, JD and Allie and Jasmine, thank you kindly for uh, – for, um, for, for doing the mod, you know, and I, I appreciate that so much. And uh, this is my friend, and uh, he, uh, he's come by to, to, we're gonna, he's building a food force. He, he's, he's a third way guy. He's an amazing guy. 
you know, he's, uh, but I must, I must say goodbye and uh, thank you kindly, everybody, and blessings to all. And um, thank you very, 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 very much. Mark, Mark, Mark. Mark, 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 Mark.